Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Z stream. Today we have a special episode. We're not playing any games today. Um, and Jeffrey's not here either. It's just me, Henry. And um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own mods. And by this, I don't mean like install mods. I mean like legit make your own mods. Like anything you want to add to Minecraft, you could probably do it. Um, through knowledge you will gain in this tutorial. So, um, surprisingly, you don't actually need uh, programming knowledge. Um, it helps because then you can understand what you're doing. But if you don't know how to code in Java, that's okay. You just have to pay closer attention to the instructions. Okay? So, the first thing we're going to need is you're going to need a Minecraft um, account, obviously. Or, well, I don't know if you need an account. You need a Minecraft, a playable Minecraft. Um, and here's mine. You're also going to need Edit Rocket or some sort of um, programming tool. Here I have NetBeans. That probably works too. I don't know. Uh, I haven't tried using it yet, so right now I'm using Edit Rocket because it's it's more convenient. Um, so here I have my Minecraft, and then the last thing you will need is you will need uh, a Minecraft coder pack. Now that can be downloaded here on Minecraft Wiki. You can just search up MCP uh, download. Um, I'll also put a link in the description for you. So anyway, here we're gonna download it. Those are the only three things you need, I think. I think, uh, yeah, it's probably only the only three things you need. Um, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Here's my modding folder. It helps organize things. Okay, anybody? Yeah. Um, now, click here to start download from Mediafire. Okay. So we're going to download the Minecraft Coder Pack. Close that. Oh, oh. Yes, I'm a winner at Walmart Visitor Survey. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, I only have 105 seconds. No, no, no. No, I'm not doing that. Okay. Must stay focused. Okay, so here I have MCP file, uh, new finder window. I know it's command N, but just so you guys can see. Um, I will go to my downloads, find MCP, and put it into my modding folder just so everything is clear and easy to see. Okay, here. So, the first part, the majority of this uh, episode will probably be to set up Minecraft. Depends on how fast I can do it, okay? So here we have the MCP folder. You might get it in a .zip. Uh, for some reason, my computer seems to have unzipped it by itself, but that's okay. Just unzip it, and you should get this, all this stuff, all this goodness. So first, what you're going to want to do is... Go into the scripts folder. Here, I'll, I'll make this bigger for you. Um, you can want to go into the scripts folder here, and you're going to see all these .sh files. There's cleanup, decompile, recompile, reob, setup, test game, test server, update, names. Um, yeah, and you're going to drag them out and back into the MCP folder. That's the Minecraft Coder Pack folder, by the way. I'm going to call it the MCP folder for now on. So you're going to drag it back out so that it's here. And now you'll notice that it has identical copies but with .bat in the, uh, in the MCP folder already. Um, the .bat, I think, is for Windows uh, PC users. And I don't know. Maybe you could probably get it to work. It's a terminal. I don't know. You could probably get it to work, but the way I do it, I use the .sh files. So... The next thing you want to do is you're going to want to, oh, uh, I just downloaded the Minecraft. So um, you're going to need to run Minecraft at least once because when you run it the first time, it will set up all of, um, it'll set up all the folders that it needs. So, and we're going to, and the folders that we're going to edit. So we need to log in at least once. See, it's here, it's making stuff, I think. I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> That's not important. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't know, do you think I need to play once? Oh, fine, whatever. Hopefully I won't get distracted by something, like a wolf or something. I still have not found a wolf in this game. To be honest, I haven't looked very hard, but still. Okay, I'm here, yeah, yeah, this is a cool world, running around. Okay, quit. Now... If you go into Finder, Control N for new window, if you go into your home 
uh, your home folder. Mine is called Henry the Ninth. I don't know, because after the 8th, there wasn't the 9th, so I'm the 9th, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm getting distracted so much. I'm sorry. Okay, you're going to go into your home folder. You're going to go into library, application support, uh, Minecraft, and here you're going to find the folder, folder called bin. And we're going to copy this folder, copy bin, and we are going to paste it um into the mine the the mc oh why is it, i want to name this mcp anyway we're going to put it paste it into the mcp dot jar uh, the jars folder here paste item okay uh yeah okay now the next step uh oh if you want to make server mods this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make single player mods in the future. I might show uh, you guys how to make server mods if you want. Um, if you're going to make server mods, you have to get the uh, server.jar and put it in here instead of bin. But uh, I'll show you that another day. To be honest, I'll show you that after I figure it out myself. Um, so, we have this in the jars folder. We have minecraft.jar here. Uh, if, if you really want, you can decompile this... Or, or no, you don't have to decompile it. If you rename this the, to minecraft.zip, you can actually unzip it and you can see all the classes. But they have really stupid names. They have like two letter names that are all just I, E, I, O, A, B, C, D. And uh, it doesn't make any sense. And that's what this MCP folder is called. It actually renames all the classes so that it actually makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to open up terminal. Um, so I'm going to press command space and search up terminal in the oh my god if I can spell it right in spotlight and I will open up terminal and um, first I will uh, first you need to type CD space and then drag in oh wait not that oh god okay not that drag in your MCP folder like this okay and now it will show the address to the MCP folder and you press enter and now you'll notice here it says MCP. I do not know what that it does. To be uh, like, I probably could figure it out, but um, I'm too lazy to right now. So that does something. Um, okay, and then we're going to type in bash, and we're going to go to our MCP folder. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller so I can see. Okay, we're gonna type in bash here. Press space. And then we're going to drag in the uh, cleanup.sh. This is how we use MCP. We just drag in the .sh files. Um, you'll see what I mean in a sec. And then we'll press enter. And then it'll do all of this goodness. Okay, so now we've cleaned up whatever that means. I think that means it uh, set things up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That set a lot of things up in the uh, MCP folder, I think. See, like, even I don't really understand. I know I know a bit of Java, but I don't really understand what's happening here. But I can still mod because, like, I, I can follow these steps. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in bash again. I love typing in bash. It sounds so cool. Uh, then we're going to drag in the decompile.sh. And we're going to press enter. And it will say deobfuscating minecraft.jar. It will open this retro guard thing. Fixing Minecraft classes, decompiling Minecraft classes. So basically, this is opening the Minecraft.jar file, and it's uh, giving us access to all the classes, and it's renaming them so they make sense. So they they actually have names that you can understand. Um, okay, and after that was about thirty seconds or so, I guess. Uh, now it's done. Now we are going to. Now, uh, yes, this is another thing here. It says Minecraft server jar was not found. That's because we didn't copy it in. Don't worry about that unless you're making a server mod. Um, okay. And uh, that should be it for setting up MCP, I think. I think. Let me think. What's the next step now? Oh, to, uh, to prove that that worked... You should go into the sources, yeah, sources folder, and there will now be a Minecraft. If you had, uh, I should have showed you before, but if you had checked this, oops, 
if you had checked the sources file folder before you had uh, started, um, there would have been nothing in here. But now we have a Minecraft folder, and if you keep going, Minecraft net, Minecraft again, if you go into SRC, I think that stands for source. Now these are all the classes in Minecraft. And by all of them, I mean all of them. See how many there are? And if you had not used MCP, these would all have weird two-letter names. Um, but now they actually have interesting names, like block door. And that just that's the class for uh, door. So if you wanted to make a mod for doors, I don't know, like exploding doors or something to trick your friends, that's where you would go into and uh, change the code. All right, guys. So that concludes uh, my MCP setup tutorial. In the next episode or next part, whatever you want to call it, uh, I will show you how to make your own recipe from now on everything is set up we can just work on mods all the fun stuff comes after this video so watch part two I'll teach you how to make a new recipe in the future I'll tell I'll make a video on how to make uh, NPCs new blocks and uh, all sorts of cool stuff so subscribe if you want more of these tutorials the Z stream is actually me. My name is Henry, and uh, my buddy Jeffrey. We do like a uh, mod spotlight. We play games, do let's play, whatever. We do all kinds of gaming stuff. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe if you and uh, like this video if you want um, more tutorials. I hope this was helpful. And as I said, watch part two to continue learning how to mod Minecraft. Thanks for watching, guys.